2022 BMW M240i Review, what a charmer. Modern technology and improved safety standards have basically made it impossible to replicate the simplicity and feel that sports cars from the 80s, 90s, and earlier provided. But the 2022 BMW M240i while still heavyish and technology-filled does a good enough job of keeping that classic sports car spirit alive. By channeling the brand's past while also embracing the future, the new 2 er delivers agility and personality, just like some of your favorite BMW models of yore, while still offering advanced active safety equipment, standard all-wheel drive, and a modern gearbox. It's no E46, but the M240i reminds us why those classic BMWs were so beloved in the first place. From the side, the M240i's short rear deck, subtle lip spoiler, and 19-inch wheels give it nearly perfect proportions. The only thing keeping the two are from achieving that golden ratio is its elongated schnars, there's too much front overhang. And when you get a glimpse of the M240i dead on, it's even tougher to look at. Sure, the headlights are sharp and the kidneys are normal-sized compared to the M3 and M4, but the detailing on the lower portion of the bumper is all out of whack. The triangular vents on each corner cut through the otherwise smooth, cohesive design like a hot knife. The central vent beneath those kidneys suffers the same issue, plus it's surrounded by crinkled sheet metal that creases upward toward the hood line with no specific endpoint. This tester sports the optional shadow line treatment, $400, which swaps the traditional matte silver accents for gloss black instead, with mineral white paint, $550. But if you're paying extra, it's worth splurging on BMW's new Thunder Knight metallic purple, $550, which is one of the prettiest hues you can buy on any car today. Beyond that, those 19-inch wheels give the M240i a phenomenal footprint, and the back end is much cleaner than the front, with a unique taillight design, a bulky black diffuser, and sharp styling cues. Even if you don't like the exterior design, at least it looks unique. The M240i's borrowed interior components, meanwhile, disappointing. All the same elements from its big siblings trickle down, minus one or two two specific cues, like triangular stitching on the door panels and an LED lighting signature with M colors. A bevy of soft black plastic lines the dash and door panels, a piano black shifter sits dead center, and a Takora red leather covers the seats. It all looks nice and feels luxurious, at least, but it's a carbon copy of other BMW interiors. The good news here is that the BMW 2 Series has a back seat at all, unlike the comparable Porsche 718 Cayman or Toyota Supra. That said, the rear of the BMW 2 Series is not where you want to be. The bench is extremely tight, actually, tighter than it was in the previous model, while attempting to jump in the second row is a mission unto itself. The passenger side gets an electronically sliding front seat, but even still, the opening is tight and access is difficult. From either of the two front buckets, though, the 2 Series never feels too cramped. Headroom is plentiful and best in class, as is legroom, and as with nearly all BMW cabin designs, there's nothing too bulky in the center console to impinge on elbow room. The chairs themselves are great, with perfect amounts of bolstering and plenty of cushionist to support your butt and back over long distances. Adding the $2,750 premium package tax on heated front seats and a heated steering wheel. Even with 19-inch wheels, the M for 20i is surprisingly cushy on-road. The suspension is smooth and soft in comfort and Eco Pro drive modes, absorbing imperfections well. Sport mode stiffens up the suspension, but not to unusable levels as in some other BMW M products. On top of that, there's barely any road noise that enters the cabin, just a light burble from the engine that most owners will enjoy, anyways. The standard screen on the M240i is a 10.3-inch central display with adjacent analog gauges. Opting for the $2,750 premium package, as equipped on our tester, adds the Live Cockpit Pro and its 12.3-inch digital cluster, among other features like navigation and a head-up display. The user interface here is still iDrive 7, as opposed to the newer iDrive 8 found in products like the BMW 9. The new system is much improved over iDrive 7, but this setup still works well enough. The home screen layout is clean and easy to use, minus some digging for certain settings, and the rotary dial in the center console makes it simple to navigate while on the move. 
wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are two other big pluses with this system. The bad news is that you do have to pay for some of these features, like the aforementioned digital instrument cluster and baked-in navigation. And unless you opt for this specific trim, the M240i, the standard touchscreen in the 2 Series is an 8.8-inch display. Base 2 Series models make do with a turbocharged 4-cylinder engine and standard rear-wheel drive which, as Clint Simone found out, is a perfect formula for fun. But the M240i beefs up with a turbocharged 3.0-litre inline-6 good for 382 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque, paired to a ZF8 speed automatic and standard all-wheel drive. Not even the base model gets a manual, sadly. But the M240i's immense power makes up for the lack of a row-your-own shifter. This mid-range M model is only 20 horsepower down on the old M2 competition and gets to 60 nearly as quickly, managing it in 4.1 seconds. And this car is legit bonkers off the line, launching with little turbo lag and maintaining a flat torque curve that allows for max twist at under 2000 rpm. The 8-speed automatic is quick, ripping off shifts comparable to a dual clutch and smartly downshifting in sport and sport plus modes without forcing the driver to flick the paddles. BMW's excellent X-Drive all-wheel drive system and those sticky summer tires assure this car ample grip as well, both off the line when using launch control and in the corners. And it's in the twistest where the M240i really comes into its own. The suspension tuning makes this too a feel lively and composed, with body movements that are exceptionally well composed. BMW M models have a knack for cornering quickly, but the M240i seemingly does it better than some of its siblings. The steering, though, is a little lightweight for my liking and lacks some feedback. That issue is common in most modern BMW products, but at least the tiller is accurate and quick which makes the M240i easy to fling around with ferocity. And when you're done, the standard M Sport brakes provide ample stopping power although they can be a touch grabby when puttering around town. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.